Hi everybody, welcome to lecture number 4, Resins for Composite and its Applications. In this lecture, we will see different types of resins or matrix for polymer composite, namely epoxy resins, vinyl ester resins, amino resins and polyurethane resins. Let us start uh, with epoxy resin. Epoxy resin is a high performance resin used for making high performance polymeric composites. The term epoxy, epoxy resin or epoxide or alpha epoxy or 1 to epoxy etc refers to broad group of reactive compounds that are characterized by a presence of oxy ring or epoxy ring. The epoxy ring may be present in the main polymer chain or it may be at a terminal group. It contains a ring structure of two carbon atoms and one oxygen molecule. It is called as an oxygen ring. The structure of epoxy group is shown. The red atoms is oxygen and two black atoms are carbon. Hence the presence of this functional group defines a molecule as epoxide where the molecule base can vary widely resulting in various classes of epoxy resins. And they are successful because they offer diversity in molecule structure and that can be produced using the same chemical method. Bisphenol A and epichlorohydrin are major raw materials or monomers used for making epoxy resins. Other polyhydroxy resins which are different forms of bisphenols and CNSA derived compounds that is cashewnate shell liquid uh, derived compounds are also being used. Some special types use cyclic aliphatic monomers. Bisphenol A. It is the product of condensation reaction of phenol and acetone. Now the another monomer which is used for manufacturing epoxy resin is epichlorohydrin. Allyl chloride is treated with hypochlorous acid that is HOCl and the reaction product produces two isomers namely 1,3-dichlorohydroxypropane and 1,2-dichloro-3-hydroxypropane. The ratio of these compounds is 9 to 1. These two isomers are reacted with dilute slurry that is 10 to 15 percent concentration of calcium hydroxide that is CaOH twice to produce epichlorohydrin. Epichlorohydrin and bisphenol A are charged into a reactor. A solution of 20 to 40 percent caustic soda that is NaOH is added to the reaction vessel and the solution is heated to bring it to the boiling point. After the evaporation of unreacted epichlorohydrin, the two phases are separated by adding an inert solvent such as methyl isobutyl ketone MIBK. The resin is then washed with water multiple times to remove byproduct which is NaCl. The solvent is removed by vacuum distillation. It is important step in this particular process is to remove sodium salt because otherwise it will act as a corrosion precursor. So that's why the multiple washings are given which also results into less yield of epoxy resin. To get a higher molecular weight of epoxy resin, liquid epoxy resin that is LER is added with a calculated amount of bisphenol A and then a catalyst is added, the reaction is heated to 160 degrees centigrade. This process of building of molecular weight is called as an advancement. These are the pictures of liquid epoxy resin and solid epoxy resin. Now let us consider what is the properties and characteristics of epoxy resin. Epoxy resin can range from very low viscosity liquid to high melting point solids. With a variety of resins, curing agents, modifying agents, it can adopt a wide applications in industry. Facility of curing. By selecting a variety of curing agents, epoxy resin system can be cured at different temperature range varying from 0 degree centigrade to 180 degree centigrade. Epoxy resin differs in curing with other thermosetting resins. It does not produce byproducts during curing process. This is why shrinkage of epoxy resin is much less. Another property of epoxy resin is strong adhesion. Inherent polarity of hydroxy groups and ether bond of epoxy resin make it to have high adhesion on various substances. Low curing shrinkage of epoxy resin will also help to form a tough adhesion bonding with the little inner stress. Because there is no release of volatile byproduct in curing reaction, so no need of molding at a high temperature and pressure and there is no time allowance required to remove the volatile byproduct which further enhances the bond strength of epoxy resin system. So these are the applications of different epoxy resins having different epoxy equivalent weight or having a, a different molecular weight. The epoxy resin having uh, epoxy equivalent weight between 180 to 3200 
uh, are being used in surface coating applications while epoxy equivalent weight of 180 to 475 used in two pack low temperature curing systems. Epoxy equivalent weight of 700 to 1000 are used for manufacturing epoxy ester resins while the epoxy equivalent resins varying from 1500 to 3000 are used for stowing finishes. Epoxy resins is also used to make epoxy prepack system. Epoxy prepack resin system are solvent free system which provide long shelf life at room temperature. These systems are suitable for wide variety of reinforcement and components of different dimensions. What are the limitations of these epoxy resins? Epoxy resins have limited pot life when resin and hardener are mixed. Cured systems have poor resistance to UV light. Thus outdoor exposure over time tends to yellow and chalk the coatings and electrical insulators can begin to track. That means they start losing the insulation properties. Resin and hardeners need to be handled with care by sensitive individuals to prevent the dermatitis or rash. Resins to hardener ratios are odd. So it is burdensome while measuring and blending the two agents. Probability of skin irritation due to hardener. In this part, we will be studying epoxy vinyl ester resin, structure property relationship of epoxy vinyl ester resin and industrial applications of epoxy vinyl ester resin. We will be also studying amino resins such as urea formaldehyde resin, melamine formaldehyde resin and its manufacture. So let us understand the epoxy vinyl ester resin. Vinyl ester resin is one of the major resin used in composites. A solid methylic acid ester of liquid epoxy resin that is epoxy methylate is dissolved in reactive diluent a typically styrene. Typical styrene content can be 33% to 45%. It is a reaction product of epoxy resin and methylic acid with a reactive diluent. Styrene monomer acts as a reactive diluent. Curing can take place at room temperature as well as elevated temperature. It is compatible with all fabricated processes. Epoxy vinyl esters are having a different uh, benefits compared to unsaturated polyester resin. So it bridges the gap between unsaturated polyester resin and high performance epoxy resin. The broad corrosion resistance to acids, bases mainly alkalis, bleach that is oxidizing chemicals, salts, solvent environments. It is having a high toughnesses and properties superior to higher low metals. A one stage reaction of manufacturing vinyl ester resin by using epoxy with methylic acid. The reaction requires inhibitor and also oxygen to stabilize all vinyl ester reactions. It is also having a fast cycle time. So basically the reaction shows methylic acid reacts with liquid epoxy resin to form a low molecular weight vinyl ester. These are typical applications of vinyl ester resin uh, where the articles are manufactured by using pultrusion process. Vinyl ester resins are extensively used in corrosion applications. The picture shows vinyl ester is used to manufacture for manufacturing or fabricating scrubber and the second picture shows vinyl ester is used to manufacture manual cover. This picture depicts the vinyl ester used for manufacturing the chemical storage tanks. The second picture shows how components of vinyl ester composites are being assembled to manufacture storage tank. There are industrial applications of vinyl ester resins. The picture shows the application of vinyl ester resin for electrolysis reservoir of production of zinc. The environment is sulfuric acid. The construction is made by hand lay process by using liner of vinyl ester resin with sea glass and CSM plus combi mat. Structural FR vinyl ester resin with CSM and combi mat. After having studied vinyl ester epoxy resins, next composite resin is amino resins. Amino resins are urea formaldehyde resins and melamine formaldehyde resins. Let us understand the raw materials used for manufacturing amino resins. Urea is basically used to manufacture urea formaldehyde resin. Now what are the properties of urea? Urea is colorless, odorless, hygroscopic crystalline solid having melting point of 133 degrees centigrade. It is highly soluble in water. Melamine is used for manufacturing of melamine formaldehyde resin. It is white crystalline solid having melting point of 350 degrees centigrade. It is slightly soluble in water. Basically melamine is manufactured by trimerization of urea. Another raw material for uh, manufacturing of amino resin is formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a basically colorless gas 
with a characteristic pungent and irritating odor. It is stable at 150 degrees centigrade, but polymerizes when condensed to a liquid. Formaldehyde is being a gas at room temperature, it is difficult to handle and hence it is used as an aqueous solution of 37% as a formalin while manufacturing urea formaldehyde or melamine formaldehyde resin. Urea formaldehyde resin, UF that is urea formaldehyde resin, find numerous applications in adhesive, textile finishing and molded plastic industries. This resin possesses good color, good clarity and adhesive quality. Like phenolic resin, urea formaldehyde resins are in the finished product cross-link, insoluble and infusible material. A low molecular weight resin is first formed which is then cross-linked in a final state of fabrication. This slide shows addition of methylation and condensation reaction of urea and formaldehyde. Further, under alkaline condition, the condensation is much lower and gives better control on the reaction. Instead of methylene linkage, dimethylene ether groups are formed. What are the advantages of urea formaldehyde resin? Higher maximum operating temperature, it allows you to mold at a higher temperature, better dielectric constant, hence having a good electrical insulating properties, it is having a good tracking resistance, hence used in electrical appliances, having a lower cost. Further, there are disadvantages of the urea formaldehyde resin. It is having a low HDT, that is low heat distortion temperature, it has got a higher water absorption and also gives shrinkage in the mold. It gives lower surface hardness and can have a toxic effect. Also gives breathing difficulties. Urea formaldehyde resin find variety of applications for manufacturing electrical casings, table wares, decorative worktop laminates, plug and switches buttons, paints and surface coatings. In next part, we will be studying melamine formaldehyde resin, manufacturing properties and its uses. We are also studying polyurethane resins or urethane resins raw materials, manufacturing of polyurethane resins and reaction injection molding process. Melamine resins are used for manufacturing of variety of products including kitchenware, laminates, overlay materials, particle boards and floor tiles. Melamine and its salts are used as a fire retardant additives in paints, plastics and paper. Melamine foam is a special form of melamine resin. Let us understand manufacturing of melamine formaldehyde resin. It is two step processes. Step one, resinification reaction between melamine and formaldehyde depends on one, melamine to formaldehyde molar ratio and pH of the reaction condition. It leads to formation of mixture of water soluble methylol melamine depending on prevalent reaction conditions. Methylol up to six methylol groups per molecule that is melamine is potentially hexafunctional may be formed. In the step two, polycondensation reaction ultimately form methylene bridges between melamine groups in rigid network structure results in cross-linking. Following are the properties of melamine formaldehyde resin. Better heat resistance than phenol formaldehyde and urea formaldehyde. It absorbs less water. It gives resistance to cracking compared to phenol formaldehyde and urea formaldehyde. It gives good stain resistance towards fruit juices and beverages. Available in wide range of colors. Provides good insulation character up to 373 Kelvin at both damp and elevated temperature. Melamine formal resins are used for manufacture of kitchenware, laminates, overlays materials, particle board and floor tiles. Melamine formal resin foams are used as insulating material as well as soundproofing material. Sulfonate in melamine formaldehyde that is SMF is used as a super plasticizer for making high resistance concrete. This is added to reduce the water content in concrete while increasing the fluidity and workability of its during handling and pouring. These are few examples of melamine formaldehyde resin for making crockeries as well as uh, surface coating applications. The next composite resin is polyurethanes or urethane resins. The polyurethane was first developed by Professor Dr. Otto Bayer. He invented diisocyanate polyaddition process which is a base pattern for polyurethane industry. Polyurethanes are formed by reacting a polyol which is an alcohol with more than two reactor hydrogel group per molecule and a diisocyanate or a polymeric isocyanate in presence of suitable catalysts and additives. This gives exothermic reaction. This, this slide shows a basic isocyanate group NCO and the next reaction shows where 
aromatic or aliphatic isocyanate reacts with aromatic or aliphatic polyol to form a urethane linkage. This reaction is exothermic. Polyurethane or PUR or PU is a polymer composed of chain of organic unit joined by carbamate that is urethane links. Most of the polyurethanes are thermosetting polymers. Polyurethanes are used in manufacturing of rigid foam which is used for insulation, flexible foam for making seating arrangements, microcellular foam for seals and gaskets, durable elastomer wheels and tires such as roller coaster, escalator and skateboard wheels. Certain catalysts used to expedite the reaction of NCO to OH reaction. Tertiary amines, metallic carboxylates and tetravalent teens are used as a catalyst. Quaternary ammonium carboxylates and managed bases are also employed to manufacture urethane resins. It is very important to use selectively the solvents for polyurethane resins. The solvents generally used are hydrocarbons such as mineral spirit, VMP naphtha, toluene and xylene, esters like ethyl acetate or butyl acetate, glycol ether esters like propylene glycol monomethyl ether acetate. The care has to be taken by selecting solvent that it should be free from moisture. Let us understand how PU resin is manufactured. Reaction injection molding that is ream process is used to manufacture polyurethane resin in a cured form. Here two or more reactive intermediates isocyanates or polyols are two liquid components metered separately to a mixing head where they are combined by high pressure impingement mixing. Subsequently it allowed to flow into mold or tool cavity at a particular low pressure where they polymerize by an exothermic reaction to form a molded part. Polyurethane is then formed in the tool cavity as the temperature and pressure at the surface of the tool is increased due to exothermic reaction. These are a few examples how PU resin is used. PU resin is used to manufacture flexible products as well as rigid products. It is also used for manufacturing elastomeric and solid reaction injection molding application. It is also used along with the reinforcement and it is also used for making structural applications. These are few examples of PU resin for manufacturing rigid foam as well as flexible foam and also used for making non-foam application where rigidity is required. These are additional examples of polyurethane applications. They are also used for manufacturing soft elastomers and rigid elastomers and they are also used for manufacturing foam products. With these slides we end the applications of various resins for manufacturing composites. Thank you.